Guess what just came in the mail? This was one of the finishing pieces that I was missing to finish off my car. Not really finished, there's always something to do with my car. But here, right next to me is my Jay's Racing Diffuser. I know some of you guys told me to get the Feels one, but that was like way out of my price range. This right here, I think is the perfect diffuser. And let's just unbox it for you guys. I'm gonna be test fitting it and then dropping it off for paint. So my rear end is really naked. And you can't even see my exhaust tip, like the lighting is just like super bad. You have to go up close. And this is just embarrassing. This is just embarrassing. I wanted to get the diffuser first, just in case if the diffuser needed like some shaving to fit my spoon exhaust. Typically people who run this uh, diffuser have the fart cannon style. So there's two types of styles, like the fart cannon and the muffler style, which I have. I kind of already unboxed it a little bit uh, because of this damage in the box. So I was just like kind of skeptical to see if my diffuser that I've been waiting for five to six months was destroyed, but luckily it wasn't. So I repackaged it up. Now we're gonna reopen it. Here it is guys. I got this Jay's Racing rear diffuser in FRP. They don't offer the carbon fiber option anymore, nor do they offer the matte black option. So this is just raw unpainted fiberglass. You know when you guys are dealing with fiberglass, you need to take it to a body shop because there's always some like, you know, imperfections which the body shop is going to take care of yep and actually in pictures guys the fin for these diffusers were a lot like not as aggressive but now that we have it in person dude these fins are a lot bigger and i think it's just gonna give it that touch that this thing needs the four-door mclaren originally me and jay are like oh damn they really sent him a uh, messed up diffuser because <laughs> three random holes on both sides oh i should say five I guess it's just to uh so that you can reach a socket in there to tighten up the hardware hopefully you guys can see this because this diffuser is black and i'm hoping the g7x comes through meanwhile so some bad news i'm gonna actually have to trim the diffuser this is gonna be eh, we've done it before the issue that i'm running into right now is so this is my spoon axle back. Don't worry guys, I do have an exhaust. I just need to get this diffuser all, all situated. But the problem I'm running into is a lot of people run the fart cannon style on this type of diffuser and this muffler is getting in the way. I'm just gonna have to trim a little bit, probably like right here, this little edge and probably this little edge. And it's not gonna be seen because, well, super low like this is all you're gonna see yeah i hopefully this thing all works out and this is how much we decided to cut first and then we're gonna do another test bit before we start cutting more hey Jay, you messed it up it's another five month wait After a long while of just talking about this diffuser, this thing is just mind-boggling, dude. It's like it's hitting against the stock muffler, which I'm not sure if the FD2 one sits a little bit to the right a little more, or I don't know, but. Then again, this car is, uh, you know, this is a conversion. It's not an actual Japanese one, but Jay's Racing always is like, they always have fitment problems. So I'm just like, I don't even know at this point. I might have to go get the exhaust done first or the diffuser done first. I don't even know. You guessed it. We gotta bring this diffuser to get it. Get it repaired, kinda. Kinda get it like, <sighs> this is so fucking annoying. I'm just trying to get my car running, man. I just wanna bring it to shows and something. I'm just trying to flex. I can't flex with this. This is stock exhaust. Not making no noise. We're here at real time collision. Uh, bro, I'm dropping off the car because I need that diffuser to be uh, test fitted on, you know, all those little imperfections in the diffuser. Because again, we're working with fiberglass, so fiberglass gets like super annoying to work with. We also got Andrew's car over here. My ride home. But yeah, let's go take a look.
So I had it dropped off and it took care of me and it's about a week later so we're gonna go get the car right now. All right, we're pulling up to the shop. Real-time collision center, check them out. Check it out, the owner's really chill. His name is Andy and let's go pick up my car. So I got this in Berlina black with a matte clear coat. Looks really nice, thank you. Yes sir. This is actually Jason's car if he watches our video. And look how good that paint job is. Yeah. <laughs> you guys need your car painted. You guys are coming to real time collision. They got a whole bunch of S2Ks over here. Oh yeah, I just realized this car was uh, not painted when we were here. Yeah. Or is this all wrapped? Dude, <laughs> I didn't even notice. I thought it was a paint job. Ninth gen wrapped in Nardo gray, it looks like. And then we got this Suzuka blue S2K with some gold CE28s. Never seen, dude, CE28s here, CE28s outside. C28s over there. C28s everywhere. Payment has been made. I'm about to go get my car out. Just gotta move all these other cars out of the way. But yeah, make sure to go ahead and check out Andy. Yeah. He does pretty good work. He's a pretty chill guy. Nah, you'll, you'll make it. No, you'll make it. You'll make it. Oh yeah, you made it. All right, we're gonna go back right now. All right. All right, see you guys. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. See ya. Right, take care. Thank you. Later. Thank you. We are back at the house and it's time to install the Jay's Racing Diffuser. This thing is about to make the car much more complete. I do need to get that exhaust situated though. That exhaust is so ugly stock. The car has already had the diffuser mocked up. So like the holes are there and uh, things needed to be trimmed. Down here. So all this, this has been trimmed by Andy. Did a pretty clean job. It's not gonna be seen of course. So I'm not really tripping too bad about it. As for the tow hook, the tow hook will still be usable, which is going to be very nice. So this is just basically an OEM replacement. The reason why I got a matte clear coat is because they offered this back in the day with a matte black finish. They don't offer that anymore, and I can actually see why they don't offer that anymore, because it just gives them a lot more time to put into this diffuser, and you know, they already spent like so long just making this thing, or I don't know, like they kind of under delivered to my expectations because there was actually a lot of like repairing need to be done. If you guys are actually interested in these Jays Racing products, I just wanted to let you guys know my honest opinion. So the first step in doing this is removing the axle back. Well, of course you want to jack up the car, but the first step is removing the axle back. Also, you want to tape up the part that you're gonna be uh, basically placing the diffuser on because like I said, you don't want to scratch fresh paint. Basically slide into these little tabs, which resides in the rear bumper. And there's going to be some holes right here for the diffuser. Dude, this stock muffler is actually very light. It's lighter oh. than the spoon. You want to see? I'm good, bro. I'm good. Now that we got the muffler removed, I'm about to start it up. Stay the fuck away. Oh, it doesn't sound that bad. Wow. It's not that bad. Hurt, hurt. It's not that bad. You wanna give us some revs? Yeah, let's give us some revs. Let, let's get some revs, man. Come on, I man. I never heard a muffler deleted since. Yeah, let's hear it. Oh, the car is warmed up all the way. Oh, okay. It's warmed up, guys. That's not bad. Dude, it just sounded like my Greddy, dude. Sounds good. Yeah, that sounds pretty good. I can't wait to get that exhaust, guys. So, guys, we're just gonna remove these two friction clips right here and then. We should be ready. Man, look at this guy, bro. He got his freaking head all up in the upskirt action. I just couldn't resist, bro. I had to get in here on my own car, find out some stuff. Oh, shit. So this is how VTEC's made. <laughs> <laughs> One modification we did do was we cut this tab right here so that it flops like this. That way we can tuck the OEM plastic diffuser into the Jay's Racing Diffuser. So it looks like it's like one full like piece mm -hmm. instead of like this. This would have hung lower because of these metal tabs. See like how it's like the metal tabs is kind of poking a little bit below the actual diffuser. If you were behind me, you would have saw that hanging a little lower. And there's a like big gap right yeah, here. Yeah, there's like a little gap. But we cut it and then we can still utilize the stock clips. Even put it in. And it's not going to flop around at all because well, there's a lot of tension right here and it's friction holding it in and we still be retaining the clip. Cool, looks good. Super hard. 
Like, as in, like, you need an angle? Ah, yeah. You fucking idiot. Thank God the camera caught that shit. The fucking fin stabbed me. <laughs> <laughs> Did I what? Well, I, 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 when are you gonna stop losing the nuts? When I get a ball sack to contain my nuts. What are you doing, dude? The leading edge. I don't know what you mean by leading edge. What the fuck do you want from leading edge? You mean that the very edge? Leading edge is leading to the edge, if you didn't know. <laughs> this guy's stupid. Don't you guys worry, man. We, we are planning to redo all of this one day. What? This car, this car's not gonna stick around for long. <laughs> Beat your goddamn ass, you son of a bitch. You piece of shit. You fucking goddamn fucker. Listen. Ah! What was even that, man? Stop right, should I just leave the muffler off? Should I actually? No, dummy. <laughs> Why would you leave the muffler off? I want an exhaust on so bad. Bro. It's gonna melt your springs. I just want the. The fuck? <laughs> I just want the sound, bro. I don't even care about performance no more at this point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, what I tell you about saying yeah after I say something, huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What I fucking say? Huh? Obviously nothing because I'm still doing it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow, wow. So we just put the muffler on and we're about to lower the car. And it's too bad that the muffler doesn't really fit with the diffuser because I guess with the FD2 Type R, the exhaust itself hangs a little bit to the right. Only one of the hangers is holding onto the muffler and there's supposed to be two. It's fine because I already have an appointment with a, an exhaust shop. Hopefully I get that done in a couple weeks. And my new wheels are coming in very soon so I'm so happy about that. Let's just get this thing on the ground. And I'm also utilizing the stock tow hook like I said. It doesn't interfere with the diffuser which is dope. Hold up. Hold up, let's get this. <laughs> this monumental moment. Let's see how low it really sits. Okay, go ahead. It's not gonna be that low. Nah, it's getting pretty fucking close, bro. Oh, that looks clean. Dude, look at it from this angle. Like, holy shit, bro. But like, look at the angle, guys. Like, the sharp angles. And it's, the diffuser kind of carries that theme. So it makes the side look really aggressive. I don't know if I already said this already in the video, but shout out to Chris once again for that exhaust tip. That shit was making me look hella stupid rolling around the street. I was kind of feeling bummed out when I first got the, the diffuser because I saw a lot of like, I guess I saw a lot of like body damage, or not body damage, but like Imperfection. imperfections because of fiberglass is so like, you know how fiberglass is, but I was just like thinking so highly of this Jay's Racing. You know, that six months wait just really wasn't uh, helping. But thankfully, Andy from Real Time Collision and uh, Chris, you know, they really helped me out. And I just really want to owe a huge thank you to them. So check them out because they really made this thing 10 times better. And look at this view with these two cars. Like, it, th this is like a very nice shot right here. This is like wallpaper worthy almost. Hey, the question is will the scrape coming out of my driveway though? Y yeah. You can. Go ahead. Keep going. Hey, yo, Mr. Lamp. Damn, dude, this is how you know it builds an OG, dude. Yes, this is like from 2016. Resell, resell, resell. Resell. What do you think of the diffuser? Let me know. Honest opinion. We do not want this sickness. This is sick, and it's therefore deviant. We do not want it. Not recording, right? Oh, it's not. All right, Bill. So you better fucking give a better reaction right now. Otherwise, the viewers ain't gonna like that shit, yeah. right? So Ooh, cutting. otherwise, I'm gonna fucking stick one. All right. So say say something right. good. Hey, okay, shut that shut that shit off. Okay, bro. Bro. All right, guys. So Bill's here. Let's get a real. Let's let's get this reaction out of this guy. What do you think, bro? That's a, that's a very nice diffuser, bro. <laughs> <laughs>